And then that, but if I'm in that position, like parachuting, can be like that, that's the right word. Like yeah. it would be easy for her to, to recover guard, to push my knee and to come back to full guard. So, first important detail for me is to be able to hide my knee under her leg and butt and to found some balance over my foot. You know, I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to have my two toes like that. I, I really would like to have like live toes to help me also to push me up and add some, some shoulder press. Also, I don't like to have this leg fair from her because sometimes she's able to lock, lock me in a lockdown. So I bring this foot as close as I can from her butt then she's unable anymore to lock my foot. Okay, and let's just start with the classic one. I'll use my forearms to free my knee, and then I go to pass and mount. If I don't underarm her, she will be able to push my knee back in. So, since I'm able to touch my knee on the ground. Yeah, th this is a key right here, guys. I see so many white belts and blue belts. They don't do the underhook. They just go for the mount. And then the guy just pushes the knee and you're back in the same position. If you get the top of the knee out. All day long. And, but you have to start going for the underhook. The moment the top of your knee's out, pop it out. And then now, now you start with the underhook here. Trying to push my knee. I will. Let's see, let's see spider. And now you're back into the, the position we did yesterday. You know, Pat, sometimes I also get tested here because a lot of times my opponent to be strong enough to lock my foot here in a quarter guard and she's comfortable in that situation you know she's not uncomfortable so i like to grab her collar and use a cross face and now everything changes especially if you are not very flexible some guys will already open the guard but at least she will be uncomfortable and her legs will be weaker and then i can use the other foot to land and mount so Once again, let's start with everything I need. My hips close to her hips. I'm able to underarm her and I'm able to use this grip to add some shoulder pressure on her chin. And that I will hide my knee under her leg, kind of under her butt. Okay, and I, will, I must learn how to use that. One big mistake here is when this, they bring this foot so close and then she's able to lock it and buff it up. Later I will add some grips to avoid her, to keep the ground and to be able to pump up, but for now, just let's use that. Okay, then from here I will free my knee, touch my knee on the ground, and then on her, grab the collar and use a cross -face. I'm not looking for a choke, you know, maybe I can choke some beginner, but now I'm not really looking for a choke, so it's not under her chin, it's across her face, and then, Use my other feet, and then I'm able to land in the mount. Okay, let's just start nice and easy with this one. One, two.